You're listening to Music Tectonics. Welcome back to Music Tectonics, where we go beneath the surface of music and tech. I'm your host, Dimitri Vitsa, a.k.a. Crazy Pants, also the CEO and founder of Rock, Paper, Scissors, a music tech PR firm. I can't believe it, but it is almost showtime for the Music Tectonics Conference. Happens once a year, happens in fires, in pandemics. It happens in all sorts of environments. And this year we're going hybrid. And I'm excited to bring you an episode today that's totally focused on a preview. If you've had trouble keeping up with everything that we're doing uh, for the conference this year, this is your episode. So stay tuned in and listen in. I want to bring in one of my favorite people in the world. Our marketing director, Eleanor Rust, is here with me. How are you, Eleanor? Hello, hello. I'm doing great, Dimitri. And uh, I'm betting that most people out there listening now have gotten a few emails from me in the last few weeks about the conference. So I've been responsible for throwing a lot of that uh, conference info at people. So I'm really happy to be here to maybe like talk through how exciting this event is going to be. Yes, my partner in crime, along with our conference planner, Shaylee, um, who's not on the podcast today, but is busy sending out um, social graphics to speakers right now. I think, yeah, she's <laughs> emailing speakers as we speak. Yes, we're speaking about her sending out speakers while we speak. And uh, <laughs> Eleanor and I just wanted to dive in and talk about the, the conference and what we've got planned. In fact, we're kicking it off with our pre-conference, um, which is actually coming up fast, October 18th on Monday, right? I know the clock is really ticking. And, uh, you know, last year we sort of sprung a pre conference on people with just a few days' notice. We're trying to, uh, you know, give people a little more advance warning this time. But it's still the <laughs> shock before the quake. That's what we call shock. it. That's right. Music tectonics is all about seismic shifts. So we have a little pre shock, a little foreshock on Monday, the 18th. <laughs> Yes. So that's coming up fast. Um, we've got three pieces to that. Well, maybe four. It's one thing that's kind of weird and different is that we're doing it in the so-called metaverse. You're going to be an avatar when you come into the Shock Before the Quake event. We use something called Deggy World, which is kind of like a cross between a video game and a conference venue, wouldn't you say? It is. It is. If you were going to build a conference campus in Roblox or Minecraft, that's kind of what this would look like. And so we're kicking it off. We're using Pacific time because the conference was launched in Los Angeles, but now we have worldwide participation. So we're starting at 9 a.m. Pacific with the Swimming with Narwhals, our music tech startup semifinal competition presented with BandLab. And so we'll actually be avatars watching this competition. We've got 10 startups that are competing one of these uh, one of these participants is going to be offered a fifty thousand dollar investment. So the stakes are high. We've got Amplify X. We've got Infinite Album. We've got Infinite Catalog, which is separate. We've got Fuzz, Stemmer, Gray Matter, The Coral Hub, Itty Ditty, Fan Label, and Playhead are all participating or all competing. We'll have um, during this semifinal. We'll have David Dufresne from Panache Ventures and other venture funds. We'll have Meng Kwok, the CEO of BandLab, who also has a venture fund. Um, I'll be there. And one of these folks will eventually get offered this investment. But in the semifinal, we're going to select four finalists to compete during the main conference. Yeah, I'm super excited. And now, maybe you want to talk a little bit, Dimitri, about why having a startup competition is so important for Music Tectonics. Well, you know, with when we started the conference, we really wanted to do, kind of bring in kind of two circles. One is the innovators and the startups, the folks that are creating the future companies um, that are going to be emerging and making all the difference in the world for music creation, music monetization, music marketing, everything interesting in, in the music innovation space. But we always want to bring them together with folks that are actually decision makers, um, uh, companies, platforms, apps that have large user bases, audiences, labels with large catalogs, um, and also independent labels too, and, and publishers, bring everybody together to create the ecosystem. So you, so through a lot of our presenters that we're going to have during the conference, we've got a lot of those major players, both in the music recording rights holder side, 
and then also the major players on kind of the technology, the music technology, whether it's streaming or music creation or everything in between, live music, live streaming, all that stuff. They come in as presenters and we match them all together during the event itself. So having the startup is an opportunity, having the startups there is an opportunity for us to find out what are the cutting edge new stuff that's that's coming out. And people walk away with deals, you know, they, they, they come to the conference and they walk away, they either partner with each other, they find technical co-founders, or sometimes they find investors or they find labels to partner with managers to partner with things like that so that's why it's important the startups are there it was super inspiring last year to see a diverse range of startups uh, talk about their vision for the future of the music industry and we're going to keep the focus on the future with a presentation from our favorite music tech seismologist following this pitch competition it's mark mulligan of mid-year Woo! research <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know. I, so I, we have a title, um, Tipping Points, Trends That Will Shape the Next Music Business. But I understand that Mark has not given this presentation uh, but except for behind closed doors. Yeah, Mark from Media Research, he does a lot of work for different clients. Sometimes he's doing research for them. Sometimes he's giving them analysis and so forth. And when he comes to music tectonics every year, he kind of opens the door to a lot of that um, information that he usually only presents to clients. And we get a great response for from our conference uh, attendees. Oftentimes, it will shift the thinking of the field for the whole year to come. And in fact, um, in a previous keynote, he talked about sort of the top of funnel for the music industry is this music creation and how there's all these new opportunities for um, platforms to, to, to build tools for music creators. And that's opening up kind of a floodgate of music creation. And that, that's just something that organically is happening and naturally. But as a result of that conversation, our whole conference now has a theme around that. We have companies like Lander and Native Instruments and Rap Chat um, coming into the mix to be band lab, to be a, be a part of the conference because they do want to make a a closer connection between those platforms and apps that are creating music or helping artists create and monetize music and the traditional recording industry. So we'll see what what are these tipping points that Mark's talking about this year. I don't know yet. I can't wait till Monday, October 18th to hear his keynote in the metaverse. We're going to see in his avatar. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait, especially because Mark's presentations are always really, the, you get that mind opening feeling of like connections shooting across your brain that you might never have made. He always has these amazing analogies that help distill the most complex moves in the mu music industry. Um, it's always a great experience. Now, yeah, following definitely. Mark's presentation in the metaverse, we're bringing Stuart Dredge of Music Ally in conversation Ooh. with irregular podcast host Tristra New Year Jaeger. If you're a regular listener, you've come to know and love her super sci-fi interviews with big thinkers of music tech. What are you hoping gets covered in that conversation, Dimitri? I mean, these are two really thoughtful people. Um, they've they've kept an eye on what's going on in music and what's going on in innovation. And uh, Stuart's got planned to talk about, I think, about five different trends that he's been watching over the last year and a half. They actually converge really nicely with some of our new seismic shift trading cards. That's right. If you came to the 2019 conference, you probably got to collect a set of seismic shift trading cards. These are physical cards that we made about the seismic shifts. And we've got five new cards. We're not ready to say what they are, but we're going to see if Stuart and Tristra hit them in their conversation in Deggy World on October 18th. Um, but I'm sure you'll hear about a lot of things that you've heard about on the podcast, but we'll just get like a, a, a most up-to-date uh, kind of confirmation of what's going on with Stuart and Tristra. So that'll be fun. And then, of course, after that, Eleanor, people are free to hang out inside Deggy World, our metaverse platform, which has speedboats you can ride around, a lighthouse you can run up. But any uh, more than anything else, it's a ch just a chance to feel like you've gone someplace, either met new folks or seen old friends in the music industry, the music tech space, um, and start to get a sense of what it's like to not just talk about the metaverse, but be in it as well and get business done. So that's, did we leave anything out from the pre-conference, Eleanor? I don't think so, except to say the way you get to the pre-conference is by getting your Music Tectonics conference ticket. All of this is one enormous music tech package. So if you register, you'll find the link at musictectonics.com slash conference. You will be automatically registered for the pre-conference on October 18th. Cool. So then a week later, starting October 25th through October 27th. The main event. That's right. The main <laughs> event. And you want to talk a little bit about how that's set up? 
Yeah, so it's a little different. We are doing the the metaverse based pre conference to make sure everybody dives right in. But uh, for the main conference, we have two platforms. We have sort of the best of the video conference experience that so many of us are really familiar with now, um, and then we have uh, we also have that metaverse experience. So mornings we're going to be in an event platform called Hopin. If you were on in if you attended MT twenty twenty you will have experienced the amazing rapid fire networking that drops you in a video call with another conference attendee for five minutes of chat. We're going to do that every hour, basically every hour, you'll get 15 minutes to shake things up, leave the keynotes, the sessions behind and just connect, just meet people. What I love about that, Eleanor, is the the serendipity that happens there. You know, like you don't know who you're going to hit. Sometimes it's a familiar face like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in years. It's, you know, I saw you at South by in, you know, 2015 or, um, oh, last time I saw you was at Music Biz in, in Nashville. I went to A2IM's Indie Week and saw you there. Or maybe it's somebody you've never met before and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm talking to somebody. I remember last year I did one with somebody that was running a hackathon through the night in Australia. Wow. He was on our platform <laughs> at like three in the morning, his time. We were speed networking in the next room. People were fueling a hackathon oh with pizza um so i love that about it's amazingly it's international everybody's kind of on an equal footing um speakers and sponsors dive right in as well so you never know who you're going to meet you press a button um and it's kind of like uh you get this little rush like you know who am i going to see next and it's always a surprise it's always been awesome and a lot of people said it was their favorite thing they did at online events all year in 2020 so we're bringing it back. It's it's it has a serendipity that um, really it, it changes how you feel about what you're doing online, which is which is super cool. We've experienced ourselves so many industry conferences where they're good on paper. It looks like a good idea. You're going to swap information. You're going to connect. It's like a like a white label LinkedIn or something, but it's quiet. It's like a ghost town. Nobody nobody responds. Nobody reaches out. Or there's you know like you realize that somebody reached out to you eight days afterwards. But this serendipity of like this chat roulette style, boom, you're there. It, it gives you a little, um, a little, a rush that there's another human someplace on the planet talking to you spontaneously. So that's uh, for 15 minutes between every panel. We actually have tons of programs. I was just looking through the list of panels, and it is. I have to say, I know I'm biased, but it is a really awesome spread. Let's dig into some of the topics that we're going to be covering at the amazing number of panels that we have scheduled for the main conference. You know, it it ranges the whole gamut. We've got super practical stuff like um, things about uh, beyond analytics, making your financial data actionable, um, which we, we've curated with the company HiFi or the future of Sync, which is talking more about where that where things are going, what the new opportunities are there, extracting money from your catalog. Um, Lyric Find is going to be presenting a, a new type of video that they can create, a Lyric video where they can actually ingest a huge labels catalog and then create lyric videos. So so labels that maybe have old titles that have never been uh, released on YouTube, for example, all of a sudden have this tool for doing that. So we have some very like specific um, kind of practical stuff. I guess also under the practical category, we always do a music tech investment panel. It's important for startups who are coming to the conference to hear directly from VCs and angel investors, probably get a chance to meet some of those folks too, um, which also ties in nicely with the startup competition that we were talking about. But then like we get a little bit further, a little bit into the future, right? So we'll have a music and metaverse panel because clearly that's something that's grown a lot in the last year and a half, but also a panel called Music is Not a Game. Oh, wait, actually it is. And that's specifically on on different opportunities in gaming. So there's a lot of interesting companies that are in both of those spaces. Um, You can hear from uh, John Vlasopoulos from Roblox uh, or Brian Stone from Universal Music. Um, We've got Monster Cat, the great gaming uh, friendly label. And we even have um, Kareem Akhtar from Amazon Alexa Fund just got confirmed to participate as well. And he's interested in finding out about opportunities to invest in in that space too. So um, I guess Eleanor also in sort of like the where are we right now? Digital collectibles across the universe is a really interesting topic for me. I just imagine that if I was going to buy a a piece of clothing in a virtual game uh, or a virtual world, I'd want to be able to wear it on Zoom, I'd want to be able to post on Instagram, things like that. So it'll be interesting. We've got a mix of a, a manager, an agent, uh, an attorney, a, a tech platform, all thinking about what's it going to take to get there as well. A real so brain trust. It's really all awesome. over the map. 
Yeah, definitely. Now, something we haven't talked about too much on the podcast yet is that there are so many interesting people coming in from these platforms for creating music. So artist creation platforms. Um, we've got something that's uh, going to be about growing the revenue with samples and stems with folks like Lander and Airbit and Audio Shake. We've got um, the future of social music, which I think is related to that. Once you have that music, how are people interacting with each other? So so BandLab and, and TikTok and, and um, folks like that are, are able to talk a little bit about what does social music look like in, in, the, in the future as well. Oh, and let's not forget, um, we, had, we mentioned your, our Will Page keynote. We were also having a fireside chat with Tracy Chan from Twitch. Yes, from Twitch, which is great. Formerly with Spotify, now head of music over at Twitch. Tracy's a well-respected innovator. It'll be interesting to hear from him about what are some of the most interesting use cases that have emerged in the music space for Twitch, which obviously started primarily as a, a game streaming platform, has turned into something much broader than that. Um, and speaking of which, we have another session on live streaming as well. Um, we've got folks from from Dream, Dream Stage and AEG involved with that session, and we have another um, live Live music session as well, kind of tech behind the scenes of live music with Prism.fm, Mandolin, Fly Machine, um, super interesting stuff. So we've got the we've got the recorded side, we've got the music creation side, we've got the live side as well. Um, you know, in that music creation category, there's a session called "Expanding the Middle Class of Music Artists" with um, people from everywhere from rap chat to reddit to beat stars so it's it's a super interesting mix of yeah. topics i don't know what what haven't we talked <laughs> well, about know, yet we Eleanor? haven't talked about um a spot we have in for the close of the conference which i think podcast listeners uh will be interested in especially the title of that panel is the look of music in five years let's get sci-fi taken off from the uh, Tristra sci-fi themes that we brought into the podcast. Yeah, the podcast that particular panel um, will include Perry Bashkoff, who's um, the head of music over at Instagram, who um, you guys heard from at our pre-conference last year um, when, he, when he was interviewed by Amy Wang from Rolling Stone. We also have... That was a great interview, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. We also have the head of YouTube Music, San- Sanjay Amin, who's joining that one as well, and one of our favorite innovators in the space, Matthew Neutra from Bose. So it'll be really interesting. Those three perspectives alone will be super interesting um, to, to dig into. You know, before we get off the topic of, of, of topics, um, I do want to mention, you know, there's this been this explosion of audio experiences that we first sort of kind of did a hit, like a double take when Clubhouse first emerged and got really, really big. And then Apple followed that soon after with their announcements about um, Atmos and so forth. We have a session called Audio Explosion that ranges from Super Hi-Fi, who does this interesting tech that you've seen at Music Tectonics in the past, um, to create segues and, and, and do some um, you use some machine learning to create great um, kind of changes between music and talk and all that kind of stuff. Um, we've got immersion networks that's involved in a really interesting uh, spatial audio thing. And we, and we have Sydney Madison Prescott from Spotify participating in that panel too. So we do have some other things that are kind of um, in the, the audio space uh, as well. I don't know, Eleanor, I just keep wanting to look <laughs> at all these topics and talk about them, but there's so it's many. True. Well, and if you've been a long time podcast listener, you've heard you know you've heard these ideas you know get talked about right you've heard the you've heard them spring from our conversations with music tech innovators and you kind of know a little bit of where they're coming from um and of course i keep thinking of those seismic shifts that we identified for the trading cards um you know the more you look at them the more you see them all weaving together to create these really big upheavals in the music industry you know we have not yet talked about those music creation tools and the demos and concerts that we are going to feature in Decky World in that uh, metaverse platform. Those are still getting firmed up, but those of you who participated in our events at NAM, for example, where you saw some musical instruments or some software programs get demoed inside the metaverse in Deggy World in the afternoons, you can go to our expo hall and meet up with some of the people we've just talked about in their booths and so forth. 
or you can uh, meet up with somebody and sit at a couch or at a table. We've got spaces where you can have one-on-one audio. Spatial audio becomes one-on-one in that space. Or you can go to our beach stage, and that's where we're going to have some interesting musical instrument demos as well and some software demos, th- things like that. Give it a little bit of a festival feel, too. Absolutely. That Expo Hall is – like if you've been to any of the online uh, – big online conferences this year, you might have been a little disappointed by the, the Expo Hall that really is just page after page after page. You know, you might learn some stuff, but you don't meet anybody. That's different in Decky World. The Expo Hall feels like a real place. You can wander through it. You can see where a crowd is gathering. You can bump into somebody. You can stop at a booth for a chat. Uh, it really feels like there's there, there. Um, mm-hmm. So all of that serendipity that you'd get at a real in-person conference just energizes the whole experience, whether you're dancing at the beach stage or wandering through that expo hall. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. You know, Eleanor, I don't know if I've told you the story, but we um, we had a reluctant participant last year, came in, downloaded Deggy World, participated, and was the last person to leave. I saw this person. <laughs> we have a step and repeat inside the virtual world where you can get a photo of your avatar in front of our step and repeat to show that you've been there to post to your socials or whatever. And I was like, so what did you think? Was it was it okay? And the person responded, that's the best fun I've had since my bar mitzvah. <laughs> so, <laughs> So we're hoping that if you have not dug in, if you're not a gamer, you haven't uh, dived into your Oculus Quest 2 and had a virtual experience. And by the way, you don't need a VR headset for any music tectonics. If you have a Quest 2, you can actually go into Deggy World with it, but you don't need it. I just use my keyboard and and my um, and my mic that's built into my my laptop to to, to walk around and and talk. Headphones but are important. Don't... Headphones are important so you get that spatial audio so that you can hear overhear people on your right and then maybe walk over to the left to chat with somebody else and also so you're not echoing you're not creating one of those crazy echo uh circles um but (laughs) uh but 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 the important thing to 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 know is that if you've heard about all this stuff happening with gaming in the metaverse but you haven't experienced it this is your easy entry point you don't have to go and and figure out some new language or anything like that we keep it really simple just go straight in you'll have the opportunity to see sessions to go see the expo hall or just to do one-on-one networking and, and things like that. I think we've covered it, Eleanor. Did we, is there anything we haven't covered? <laughs> you know what? The one thing we haven't covered yet is our in-person event on November 2nd. Oh, r- right. <laughs> I know. Right. It's not just metaverses and video calls. We are hosting in-person networking events in Santa Monica, California on November 2nd. Yeah, we decided several months ago with the pandemic, with COVID-19, we didn't know what was going to happen. And so we built all of the values so that no matter what happens, we will have our panels, we will have our keynotes, we will have networking, we'll have great experiences for people to meet with our sponsors and interact. So that's why we've built it the way we have. But we, and like you, we're dying to also see people in person. So we're trying to figure out, well, how do we do that too? Let's just do both. That's what we decided. It's a choose your own adventure at Music Tectonics. And with our November 2nd events, we are doing a takeover of a merry-go-round, a carousel at Santa Monica Pier. One reason is it's cool, it's crazy, it's ridiculous. The second reason is we'll be by the ocean. We'll have fresh air. It has a deck outside. So if you're more comfortable staying outside, it actually should be lovely, 68 degrees-ish in Santa Monica in uh, early November. So you can pop in, say hi, and then you can go stand on the deck and hang out and met- network. We'll have a food trek. You'll get your you'll get your lunch and hang out outside on the pier. We'll have the fresh breeze, the fresh air to keep us safe. And then we'll move over to a nearby co-working space that's pretty cool called Expert Dojo over at Santa Monica Promenade so that you can have another space. We've got Cardinal Spirits, um, who's going to be serving up drinks there, cocktails. And then we also have another rooftop uh, component of that venue, too. So again, you can be outside with fresh air. There's places nearby to, to go grab a meal or have another meeting, things like that. We're just giving you just basically the platform, the place to be, meet up with old friends. Maybe you meet some new friends on Hopin or in Deggy World, and you say, hey, are you going to be in LA? Okay, let's let's grab a drink there. Let's make sure to, let's ride a horse together on the carousel. We'll do some speed networking on the carousel. <laughs> yep, I expect that day is going to be full of some amazing surprises as well. Uh, we don't have speakers or uh, pro- panels programmed for that. It really is just come and get some of that concentrated music tech networking that you've been missing. 
So if you have uh, a reason to go to LA, I mean, the reason we picked LA for our Music Tectonics Conference when we started two years ago was that it, there's this convergence of record labels, of technology, of music tech, of Hollywood, of gaming, of social media platforms, of hardware manufacturers. They're all there in LA. So we felt like it was an unta untapped potential convergence hub that we wanted to kind of say, this is a great place to be. Plus, again, the weather, right? <laughs> um, so <laughs> if, you're, if you're not done, with your fall by the time November 2nd rolls around you can have a little uh, a little extension in in Santa Monica and uh, and so schedule some meetings you know like come come in a couple days early stay a couple days late either way come do the meetups but then also do your rounds in, in LA while you're there and uh, the other thing that we didn't mention yet is all of this everything we've mentioned the pre-conference the three-day conference online in the metaverse and coming out in November 2nd is only $99 if you buy your ticket by October 18th 99 bucks that's ridiculously I know. low for for three different experiences on multiple platforms including in person i know how are we how are we doing that dimitri how are we making that happen <laughs> We're making it happen a little bit through blood, sweat, and tears, but a lot of it from our sponsors. Yes. We have some amazing sponsors, so um, make sure to come and check them out at the conference as well. There's um, A lot of them are involved with doing programming. A lot of them will have booths as well, um, and so there's um, lots of opportunities to interact with some incredible companies. I'll just name drop them here. Uh, Native Instruments, Lander, BandLab, AdRev, Lyric Find are our Supernova sponsors. They're the ones that have really made it possible for us to do that. And then we've gotten support from Super Hi-Fi, Prism.fm, Art & Logic, MRC Data, DreamStage, Rap Chat, MuCon, and HFA Rumblefish, and Hi-Fi. Those companies have all come in to support us as well. We've got additional exhibitors uh, at the Meteor level from Cobas, Chartmetrics, um, Feed.fm, Revelator, uh, Re uh, Strat Americas, Cross Border Works. Uh, I think I've got everybody at this point, but it's it's really incredible to have this much support coming from really some of the best music tech companies in the universe. And so many corners of the industry. That's always been what Music Tectonics has been about, is to bring people together from every corner, not stuck in your silos, but, uh, you know, all in one place, having conversations about the future of the music industry and how tech is going to shake it up all over again. So it's really exciting to have so many companies from all over. Involved. Definitely. It's, it's, it's a, a huge uh, mix of the macro system of the whole space. I think that we've probably talked enough. Some people are going to be like, wow, that was a big ad for Music Tectonics. And it was, but know. you know what? That's what the it's... podcast is here for, you know? We're, <laughs> and it's because we are really so excited about it, too. We're, we're definitely excited. And we, it's also been hard to convey that much information in email, on LinkedIn posts, on Instagram, and so forth. So this was your 30-minute deep dive, and we didn't even get to it all. If you want to find out more, musictectonics.com slash conference or slash schedule or slash speakers, all of those things. But go to musictectonics.com, and you can read the full schedule, and you can get your tickets before the price goes up. Because after October 18th, our pre-conference, the shock before the quake, they go up to 129 bucks. So um, now it's a chance. deal, but uh, you should get the best bargain you can. It's a total deal. I don't think you can get a cheaper music industry conference ticket right now. And uh, yeah. certainly not for the value of all the programming and the networking opportunities and, and all that. So, Eleanor, it's been fun putting the conference together. Let's go do some more work. It has. Yeah. Let's go make it happen. If you um, if you are a Music Tectonics podcast listener, if you're listening every week, you need to make this a reality. We will see you online in the metaverse and by the ocean. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to Music Tectonics. If you like what you hear, please subscribe on your favorite podcast app. We have new episodes for you every week. Did you know you can dig deeper into all our episodes with the show notes at musictectonics.com. While you're there, look for the latest about our annual conference, sign up for our newsletter to get updates, or get the Music Tectonics app for music tech news. Everything we do explores seismic shifts that shake up music and technology the way the Earth's tectonic plates cause quakes and make mountains. Connect with Music Tectonics on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and find me, Dimitri Vitsa, if you can spell it, on LinkedIn. Bye-bye! You're listening to Music Tectonics.